Yeah, baby. Hey, Jim. You know, this channel has kind of veered away from its intended course. Uh, it's supposed to be about garage stuff. And the last few months, all I've been doing is home improvements. So today, we're going to kind of swing back into the garage stuff. And you think, since I have seven cars, almost all of which are in some mid-form of uh, project, uh, several aren't drivable, Mercedes transmission still needs some love. So, am I going to fix any of my derelict project cars today, finally, once and for all? Nope. <laughs> I'm going to do something even stupider. Well, I guess fixing those wouldn't be stupid, would it? No. <clears throat> today, I'm going to go pick up... Well, not pick up. I'm going to go pay for my eighth project vehicle. But can't wait to see what it is. <laughs> we'll be there in a minute. Okay. <laughs> I have done it. I now have eight, well, I guess technically nine project vehicles now. Look what I just got. Yep, a big old trailer. Let's have a look. Not really sure how long it is, but it's an old trail right. And of course it's gonna need some tires. And the wheel bearings seem like they're okay, but I'll probably repack them. Gonna do the brakes. Gonna have to probably renew all of this lighting. And then I gotta pull this uh, wood to deck off of it. It's set up to haul motorcycles. And what I wanna do is pull the wood deck off and get out my welder and convert it into a car carrier where I can put a car on it. Now, the next problem is if I'm going to be hauling a car on that, my truck, it's a pretty gnarly truck. It'll pull this probably with no problem, but I'd probably be better off having something a little more heavy duty to pull this trailer. And that's where this comes in. Oh boy. <laughs> So what we have here is a 1978 Bluebird. I'm not sure the length. I think it's a 32. Uh, it's pretty much been sitting here for a few years. The tires are all kind of rotten. Uh, hasn't been started in probably three to five years. And I am planning on driving it out of here. I am planning on rehabbing this thing. So this channel will have gone from automotive to home improvement to now it'll be back to motor home improvement. Cause I'm gonna try and resurrect this thing, get it started, get it running, go through the brakes, just inspect all the different uh, systems on the, on the coach and make this thing reliable because I'm planning on driving this motorhome from Southern California, where we are right now, to North Carolina sometime around the end of the summer, maybe uh, beginning of fall, I'm guessing. I'm not really sure the time frame yet, but I have between now and then to finish all of my home improvement projects and get this motorhome going. So let's have a closer look at this thing. We have... Uh, Beautiful Bluebird Wander Lodge. Slightly corroded Bluebird trailer hitch. Looks like it's registered in Oregon. Last time, looks like it was in 2006. Oh boy. The paint on this is a little rough. Nice tinted windows. I'm gonna have to go through all of these little cubbies and cabinets. I haven't yet. It's a little bit rusty. Uh, well, that's just dirt. That's good. The uh, stripes on it are a little rough. I kind of like it. Uh, looks like it's got a gas generator. We'll go inside in a minute. These tires are 
deadly bad, big cracks, although they're still holding air. So I'm gonna have to do something about those right away. And not sure what that is up there. Maybe it's part of an air conditioner. I'll have to look into all this because I don't know anything about this. And it, I think it's got a Caterpillar diesel. And I don't know anything about Caterpillar diesels, but I'm about to learn. And if you keep watching, you're going to learn with me because I'm going to do it all right here, making videos of it. Let's look inside. Oh boy, the step's a little sketchy. Uh, but the interior, it's kind of stuck in 1978, but it's not awful. Here. Oy. Okay. I'm right in here. And we have, you know, the upholstery is not terrible. I'm probably going to redo it, but we'll see. We have all of this lovely paperwork all about the brakes. I'm going to be using that. Chassis maintenance. Okay. This is all going to be very helpful stuff. Owner's manual that came with all of this good stuff. So that's going to be great help. And then we got the motor here. I believe this is a Caterpillar. We're going to dig much deeper into this thing over the next couple of weeks. And get this baby up and running again with any luck at all. Oh, look at this dashboard. <laughs> it's like an Apollo spaceship in here. Very 60s, even though it's a 78. It's got 85,000 miles on it. Well, it's funny that it doesn't have a 100,000 reel, so it could have 185 or 285 and we wouldn't know it let's see here yeah brake lighting blue bird model year 78 it doesn't really say the the length on any of this stuff or any of that but that's okay that's an interesting radio it looks like maybe a some kind of a CB or something. We're going to have fun figuring out what all this stuff is. Yeah. Stereo speakers, lots of storage. Uh, looks like we've got an AC unit right here. Maybe that's what that condenser thing was. Oh, this is a beaut. There's a... Uh, I bet we'll be getting rid of this soon. <laughs> we got a nice little kitchenette. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. It's not in terrible shape. What do we got here? Oh, water pump controller. Now this looks like definitely a newer refrigerator. Yeah, this is definitely not from 1978. This has got to be a replacement. So that's nice. Looks like it runs on gas or electric. Uh, I wonder if it's... I haven't seen anything else. Propane. Let's see this. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's got to have propane. Propane cookstop. So we'll have to find where the propane tanks are. Uh, I'm going to say this is going to need a new mattress. <laughs> that looks pretty sketchy. But neat little uh, dressing table. And oh, look at that. A bluebird clock. Wander Lodge. Okay, so this is it. I bought the cheapest bluebird wander lodge probably in the world. <laughs> it won't end up being the cheapest for very long because it's going to cost me an, uh, a lot of money to rehab this thing but I think it's totally going to be worth it. We're going to use it all the time when we get back to North Carolina and just going across the country and it's going to be a great fun. Oh, I didn't show you the bathroom. Hold on. All right. There's 
the bathroom. Yeah. Pretty good sized for a motorhome. Ooh, walk in, shower, nice and yellow. But it's got a window, yeah. So, that's all right. So anybody that's uh, thinking that I needed to get back involved in vehicular projects, careful what you wish for. Okay, so I'm going to walk around and start uh, uh, figuring out what everything is and where everything is and making a list of the initial stuff that I want to bring out here next time I come out. It's sitting in, uh, uh, it's on a, a lot and the lot where it's sitting is being sold. But I have some time to play with it here. I don't have to get it out of here right away. So I'll be able to hopefully, uh, what I would really like to do is I'd like to be able to get this thing rehabbed enough to be drivable while it's here and then drive it out of here rather than trying to get somebody up here with a semi and a flatbed to tow it out of here, which would cost a heck of a lot. So I'm hoping to be able to, uh, you know, the back tires didn't look that terrible. I haven't uncovered the ones on the driver's side yet, but that one front tire with the big cracks, uh, there's no way I'm driving out of here on that. And I'm going to have to pull all the wheels and tires off to inspect all the brakes because the very first, the first 30 yards of getting out of here is going down a steep driveway. So I'm going to be making sure that the brakes work really good before I attempt to get this thing out of here because I don't want to just crash it immediately because... I'm a dumbass. So, <laughs> here we go. I have noticed something that I'm going to put on my list. Hmm. It looks as though this hatch is missing and there's a piece of plywood over it. So, I'm going to have to get a whole new hatch assembly and replace the whole shebang. Looks like an exhaust fan. Yeah. Okay, so the list has begun. On the downside of all this, I just noticed that there is definitely some rodent droppings on the driver's seat. That is not a good sign. Uh, looks like there's some on the floor. Not terrible. I've seen way worse in other vehicles. But there's definitely some been some rodent intrusion. Hopefully they have not gone after the wiring because that can cause humongous problems as long as they have not gotten on into the wiring. It's not a surprise that there's rodent uh, intrusion here because this is kind of a rural type spot. So, okay, what else can I find? It looks like the whole front of this body comes off fairly easily. That might come in handy when working on the motor, engine, whatever you want to call it, radiator. Uh, I don't see any black widows in there. I suppose it's going to look like in there. <clears throat> if I can get it off. Throw my other hand. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. Oh, I don't know if you can see down in there, but... I gotta say, it looks better than I was expecting. It definitely looks like coolant. It looks like it's a little low, but I can see coolant. And it's the right color. It's not just brown mud. So that's a good sign. Hell yeah. The uh, wipers are kind of sketch. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There is a dead lizard inside on the dashboard. Oh boy, I'm going to find all sorts of fun little gifts like that. I'm sure. Some of this plastic is getting a little dry. I'm going to have to put in some cool LED headlights. Uh, I guess that's fog lights. A lot of rubber issues. I know I'm going to have to probably replace... All of the hoses and belts and all of that stuff. I wonder what this uh, awning looks like. You know, 
after uh, a few minutes looking this thing over, I won't be surprised if it's in great shape, and I won't be surprised if it's an absolute tattered mess. Uh, gas. Okay, I gotta get the keys. Let me get the keys and unlock all these hatches. There are some that I just don't seem to have the key for, or else it's frozen up. Like this one. It doesn't seem to work. Looks like it folds down here. I'm not sure what would be behind this. Um, I got this one open, which is the fuel tank for the generator. This one I was unable to get unlocked, so I'm going to probably have to drill that one out. Then we've got this beautiful generator. Obviously, this battery's old and dead, although, well, let's see, the battery's dated 2008. It's an Onen generator. Uh, can't really make out. I think it says 6,500 watts, but I'm not sure. All of this looks pretty, uh, it's 784 hours. So this generator may still function. We'll have to explore that. I got to get a new battery. And we've got in here where we have our water separator for our diesel supply. And there is our propane tank. I'm not quite sure if uh, anybody will fill this propane tank. It might need to be pulled out and uh, I think it's called a water test or something to certify it for fill, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to look into that, but we found the propane tank. And this one. Can't get that one unlocked either, so don't know what's in there. And we come around here, and I got this one open, and there's our batteries, starting batteries. I gotta tell you, the wiring, it's a little sketchy looking. <laughs> Uh, these batteries are dated 2017, so this, I'm going to say, has been started, yeah, within the last five years or so. And on down here, we got this one open. It's got uh, cords for plugging in, and it looks like a, a hose for your water. And this tire, I uncovered it. The tire's pretty bad. And going flat, cracked real bad. And then in here, we have what looks like either blocks to level it when you're parking or and or firewood. I mean, there's definitely firewood in there too, but like this one's angled, so I'm pretty sure that's for leveling once you're camping. And what's also interesting is there we have some rodent poison, and there's a rodent dead in the rodent poison, and his partner's over here. Looks like they've been there for a while. And if you want to check out a sketchy tire, <laughs> look at that. Yikes. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how this tire has even got air in it. So, looks like some nice aluminum wheels, though. They need to be polished up a little. That'll be fun. Here's an interesting little tape sign. It says, connect both battery switches before operating and I look in and there's a, a switch here and then there's one over there too a battery disconnect so that's interesting uh, I'm gonna have to I, I'm sure these batteries have to be toast they just have to be uh, I'll just go ahead and buy new batteries it's funny that it's got this uh, household type doorbell but then when I come inside, it's got the rest <laughs> of a household doorbell here. It's enormous. Ah, I'm going to have to take that out. I'm sorry. And look at this old school cell phone. This is from like, what, the 80s? Huh. That might actually be worth something on eBay. We'll have to see. Oh, and... This microwave, look at this thing. It is from definitely from uh, the 80s. So I think I'm going to have to replace that if we actually want to use a microwave. So I'm going to finish making my list of stuff. 
I'm going to take all of this paperwork home and I'm going to study it all. And then I'm going to have to come back here uh, tomorrow or the next day. We'll see. And start digging into this a little bit more. After I bring back some basic supplies, I have really nothing with me today except a pad of paper and a pen. And uh, I used to have a big pocket full of cash, but I don't have that anymore. <laughs> hey, new project. Woohoo! This is going to be a fun one. Thanks for watching. Hey, uh, somebody told me that I'm supposed to say, uh, please subscribe. I don't know. I figure if you want to, you will. But, hey, please subscribe. <laughs>